So we made it to sunrise at Mount Rainier and the parking lot is just packed. We actually had to park down the road and walk like a third of a mile. Just constant cars coming up. It's crazy busy. But the visitor center with the gift shop and food is closed for the year. It is October 1st. All right, we are on the trail. So the first part, we gotta go up. It's not too bad. And the wildflowers are done for the year. So we must have came in September last year because we did have a few wildflowers, I remember. But it is around noon, I think. And we're gonna hike till five or six. Here's a little, one of the picnic areas. Pretty neat, you can see the mountain through the trees. But uh, yeah, this section is steep. I'm actually starting to feel it already. Uh, so that's looking east. Luckily that's windy enough, there's, there is no wildfire smoke. Steeper than you think. Look at it. Uh, I am struggling today. I don't know if it's just really steep or I had a cold on Thursday and I'm still like getting over it maybe. Uh, we made it up to the ridge from the Sunrise parking lot at Mount Rainier National Park. Look at that view. Awesome. This is a nice trail. We did the loop where you go down there and up. This time we're going to go in and out on this trail. I don't want to do down there. We forgot our hiking poles too. I do not do well getting up early. <laughs> I think I need to start packing stuff the night before better. Yeah, that's really neat though. Really neat. Oh, I had to clean the lens off. Hopefully the smudge wasn't too bad. Look at that creek coming out of the glacier. That's White River basically way, way off in the distance. But we are going to Frozen Lake is our first major point. So I need to check all my batteries. I'm not sure how many of them have power because I haven't used them or charged them for a while. And GoPro batteries only hold power for a couple of months and then they're dead. So hopefully this isn't my only battery. If it is, I'll be all right. Getting into the rocky area. We gotta walk across a rock field. The path is really good though. Do a little 180. Uh, I just have no energy today. I don't know what it is. I hope it's getting over being having the cold. Or is it just the fact there's so many people here and we barely got a parking spot up the down? I think I realized you have to you have to get to these places so early now. I don't know if it's possible for us anymore. 
to get a parking spot. Uh, this section is neat. That is neat. Look at this wall they made. Picking up all the stone here. Pretty neat. Had to be a lot of work. We're almost to Frozen Lake though. Look how tall it is though. It must be seven, eight feet tall. I'm just under six feet. Oh yeah, it's eight or nine feet tall here. The wall. So this is the little dam for Frozen Lake. It's the domestic water supply for Sunrise. Keep out, no hiking. So there is Frozen Lake. Now I'm starting to wonder if they closed the concessions here um, so early because this is their water supply and it's pretty low. And I imagine they don't want to use it all. So that makes sense. But that is the Fremont Lookout Trail there. A lot of people on it. And then that, straight ahead, is the Wonderland Trail. We might do that. I think we will do that, and that's the Burroughs Trail, I want to say. I think we'll go down to Wonderland Trail. If it gets really steep, we'll turn around and do the Burroughs Trail. There's that right here. So we are on the Wonderland Trail going west from Frozen Lake. Look at that, Mount Rainier, north side. That is impressive. There is a climbing route from White River from the northwest side, and then there's several from the south side. Not sure if there's one from the northwest side. I don't think there's one from the southwest. That's pretty rugged, and then there's no glaciers left. By now, they're all melted. It would be straight up. But we're gonna go as far as we feel like on this trail, and then turn around. So we are going down this valley, and I can see the trail on the other side going up. And that is the Burroughs Mountain Ridge. I think that's the second Burroughs. I can see people on it. So we made it to a junction. If you go straight, it goes to Berkeley Peak Camp. 1.5 miles and this way goes toward Granite Creek Camp 2.7 miles and this is the Wonderland Trail going this way and Mystic Lake is in 6.6 .6 miles we will not make that today so that was my awesome seat ate some more food took a little break so we're 2.5 miles from the parking lot and about another half mile to the car so we've done three miles roughly Hoping to do one to two more miles before we turn around. That'll be eight to ten, then that's pretty good. I'm curious as to how this trail gets out of this little valley, or whatever you call it. This is looking straight north. Uh, the side trail went that direction. And that is looking toward the Fremont Lookout Trail. We are going this way. We're hoping to make it up to that pass. And Mount Rainier is that way. Can't see it anymore. A little patch of snow there on that hillside or cliff or whatever you call it. I swear I just heard rocks fall. Or it was the glacier, one of the two. It was way off in the distance to my left. 
Ah, that is neat. And there is the trail going down. I think it was Berkeley something camp. See it going into the trees right there. And it ultimately goes to a forest service road, I believe. It goes out of the park eventually. And we are walking across this rock field. So we're going to turn around no later than three. I think we have another hour. I think it's around two right now. This is neat. This is a spring. Like this is the start of a river. I have no idea which one. I'm gonna show you over here. That water would be awesome to drink. It is just coming out of the ground right there. That is neat. Wow. That is way cool. You can't even tell there's a spring there. Like, you can't see anything, any water bubbling up or anything. And it's a lot of water. Yeah, this is neat. But we're going to start going up now. So, that peak straight ahead is Skyscraper Peak. There's a trail to the top of it. Talked to a guy, said it's really neat. I don't think I can make it up there. I'll be lucky to make it up this pass. But, uh, yeah, this is way cool. You can hear the water here. This would be a fun place to camp next to. Well, you're not supposed to camp next to water. I think you have to be 100 feet away. We are just past the spring and found an actual creek with a culvert. And that's where we're going. Time for some pain. Oh, that's a neat creek. Yeah, there's some amazing views here. Pretty sure this is bear poop. There's lots of berries in it. I didn't realize there were bears here, right here on this part of the trail. And it looks pretty fresh. <laughs> I would say within the last 24 hours. Ah, there's the fire lookout. You can see it now. That's the Fremont fire lookout. Maybe someday we'll do that. I don't know. It looks really hard. Everything's hard here. I need to find some flat trails on my trip. If I ever get going. I don't really want to leave here until it starts raining. It's a problem. Because you don't get very many nice weather days in the fall like this to do stuff in Washington. This is October 1st, if you can believe it. Wow. So we're going up to get out of here. Oh, we got to see Mount Rainier again with red flowers in front of it. That is neat. Crossing this little bridge. We're getting there. I'm gonna make it, I think. See some grass way down in the valley. Way, way down there. And the lookout tower. Ah, the 
wind feels good because get warm walking up this breeze feels good we are in the trees really little trees growing season is really short here we have not seen the bear yet that pooped on the trail so that's good Oh, definitely getting tired. We gotta go up that yet. Oh, where those people are. It's almost the top, way in front, in the middle of the viewfinder, of the shot. I think we can do it. Oh, that's an awesome table right there. Oh, jeez, look at the mountain. Wow. So there, skyscraper peak. It goes straight up, it looks like. But, um, that's the view we have, Mount Rainier. We're, I wonder if we're four miles from the Sunrise parking lot to the west on Wonderland Trail. And the Wonderland Trail goes that way somehow. I'm thinking it goes down to the north, down that valley. I can't see how you cross it anywhere in front of me. Looks like there's two major glaciers coming off. So that means lots of water. Wow. That is neat. I don't get to see the backside very often unless you hike in here. We are north of Mount Rainier. It's the Wonderland Trail going west. It goes down into this valley to get across the valley. But um, yeah, this is really neat. Skyscraper Peak again, and that is looking north. So there's a little trail going up Skyscraper Peak. It just switchbacks a lot. It looks like a couple people coming down really slowly. I love this shot though. Glaciers are just massive. I wish the sun angle was a little better. Get some more shots on the walk back. But this, where we had our little lunch break, or I should say break, not lunch. We, that is the trail we walk up here on. There's a grassy plateau way off in the distance where they cleared the trees. Really neat. Pretty high up still. But I-90 is in that direction. I want to say the really tall mountains, I don't know if the camera's picking them up, is around Snoqualmie Pass. Or past it. And that is the Fremont Fire Lookout. You can see the trail cutting across from the right to the left. Yeah, we might have to do that on a sunny day. Wow. Alright, we better start heading back. So it is almost 3 p.m. and we are walking back east toward Sunrise parking lot. The view is amazing. This this was really fun, this hike. So we think we heard the glacier twice, like breaking off the big crash. It's really loud. 
So you can see the trail, the lower trail is the one we're not getting on. But we, I think we're going to end up doing 10 miles, wait, nine miles round trip on the trail and a mile to and from the car in the parking lot since we had to park so far away. So 10 miles total, which isn't bad. If I had to guess, I wonder if we did 1,500 feet of elevation gain up. To, well, probably more than that by the time we get back, actually. Maybe 2,000, actually. Because we're going two pretty big ups and then a littler up we did. But I will try and get some more video as we walk back, potentially. I'm hoping the sun angle changes and lighting gets better. Oh, we forgot our poles, which is a bummer. So far we're all right though. It's not too sketchy. I'm ready to sacrifice Brian to the Mount Rainier gods. He's ready for it. We are walking down still. We got a big up to Frozen Lake once we get to the bottom of this, but I don't think it'll be that bad. One steepish part in it. So there's a second herd of goats. I don't know if you can see them. There's one over there and one there. We're hoping they migrate toward our trail eventually. So I can get closer to them. But we lost the view of Mount Rainier again. Now that we're down in this bowl. So straight in front of us is the Burroughs Ridge Trail, <laughs> where you see all that rock fall and the ridge. People go up to that peak right in front of us. It's only 1.3 miles, it looks a lot farther. So 2.6 miles round trip. We passed some people that are scrambling down the backside and then across that ridge there over to here. A couple people have done that and they make a loop out of it. No idea how easy it really is. But it must be passable. We are back in the flat section in the bowl. We'll start going back up soon to Frozen Lake. few people on that ridge. Not very many though compared to earlier. On the Burroughs mountain trail. This could be our last look at the goats. We're walking out. We're just going to start our final hard hike up to Frozen Lake. There's two herds of goats. There's one there. And there's one up there somewhere that we might see when we get up on that, that elevation. That's pretty neat. But we gotta go up that way right there. You can see the trail. That's the part that I think will be a little steep. So 
So if you see the cloud in the middle of the video, there's people walking on that ridge up there. Just went by it. See their heads. Burroughs Mountain Trail. Oh, this part is steep going back up to Frozen Lake. It is 3.45 p.m. We're almost back to Frozen Lake. We made a lot better time walking back. We didn't stop as much. Barely stopped at all. There's people actually just starting the Burroughs Mountain Trail at almost 4 o'clock. I figure we'll be back at the truck by 5 p.m. maybe. And we'll be tired. Fremont Peak Trail, our Fremont Fire Tower Trail. So we are about half a mile from the parking lot, Sunrise parking lot, and it's cleared off to the north. The view is a little better. We are identifying this bush with little red berries, see if we can eat them. But we are at the bottom of the parking lot. We are gonna head back to the truck. We are on the road finally, walking back to the car where we parked. There are, I would say the parking lot is still two thirds full. There's a lot of people here still. I've never hiked in the evening and then hiked down with a headlamp. I think a lot of people do that. Would be kind of neat. But um, we are almost back. Ah, oh, there, we're around the corner. That's a, I don't know what that first white car is. We're in front of that red Xterra. We just got back to the car and here's one last look at Mount Rainier. And that is looking east. But um, I need to get our chairs and our little table and we're going to start bringing our camp stove and some food and we can sit by the car when we're done and have a good little dinner. But um, it's a fun hike. I think we ended up doing nine miles round trip. So that was good. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.